random motorcycle Jim? Six three six mate. <laughs> oh. Hello YouTube. I'm just gonna run some errands today on the motorcycle. Just heading to the post office. Then I want to head to the registration office to pay for my. P's course to get my next motorcycle license and also want to pick up something at the shop where to park to go to the post office let's park in here so I picked up my parcel and you wouldn't believe how huge the packaging was for such a small item I knew it was a small item and here's the item here just getting a new micro SD card 95 megabytes read speed and 90 megabytes a second write speed so I ordered that and then mate it came in a big box about this big a4 size by three inches high it was ridiculous man and then you have to open the box and like take your parcel out and man it had bubble wrapped the small item and packing noodle things and i had to scoop them all put them in the bin man and cut the box up cut my name off the box chuck the box in the bin man excess packaging is stupid anyway next errand um Heading down to Elizabeth. Gonna attempt to park in the motorcycle parking if it's not full. And uh, yeah, I wanna pay for my motorcycle course to get P plates. And then I also wanna pick up some sheets from the Manchester store. So I'm not sure if that's gonna fit in my backpack, but we'll see. I might have to take, the, take it apart, just like I did with my parcel just then. How do we use motorcycle parking? So it's good. I'm just stopping like this. Now I want to try and put that alarm on because I haven't really used it before. So might as well give it a go since I'm here for a while. Dislock alarm. Give it a go. Like that, it beeps. Beep. See you when I get back, people. Ah, so half an hour later, you paid for it. I don't know how much it costs, so I'll just put it on the screen to let people know how much the advanced motorcycle course costs because I, I paid my card and I don't know how much it costs because I didn't look at it. Um, yes, and also queen size sheets also fit in the OGO Mac 5 backpack. If you're wondering, it fits in, you don't have to take cardboard out of the pack or anything. So, my third errand for the day is I want to go and take a picture for the Riding Game Facebook page. So the Riding Game is just a Facebook page where someone says go take a picture of your bike somewhere with a certain thing in the background. So the current one is go take a picture next to a big statue. So I'm gonna go and head over to Kaponda and take a picture next to the big mining statue. And yeah, I found that, that Facebook page through Rhesus Monkey, that's his YouTube name, and he's a South Australian motor blogger and currently has five subs. So yeah, he's not very well known, but he's got a handful of videos. And I'll put his link in the description so that you can go and sub him and you can get some more subs. So can you hear all that wind noise? I sure can, so I'm sure the microphone picks it up as well. I have to sit up straight to get rid of it. It's because the stupid windshield blows it into my neck here and makes noise. New houses at Freeling. I wouldn't live this far out, man. It's too far. Unless you're working in Gawler, because it's not too far, then. Look at the rolling hills. They just go on and on and on and on and on and on. Now we've got to take a picture with statues, so... We want to ride over to it, don't we? Of course we do. <laughs> yeah, not really allowed to do this. <laughs> there we are. Now we just got you to take a picture and then we'll get out of the way. That's a pretty epic statue. <laughs> So 
and look at it. Looks good. So yeah, I'll put that on the Facebook page and see if I get the competition done. How do I get out of here? Uh, I'll go back the way I came. Bit of off-roading, first time on the motorcycle. <laughs> Little skid. Yep, that locks up really easy. <laughs> and a photo opportunity across the road. It goes up the ramp over there. All the way up to the top. Ah, might as well have a look. Ah. Off-roading, hopefully I don't get any nails. <laughs> oh, there's a statue anyway. An epic thing through the sky. Alright, done my errands for the day. And uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I mean I hope you've noticed. I've been filming in uh, 60 frames per second, so the video might be a bit clearer today. I don't know. We'll have a look. And yeah, go subscribe to uh, Rhesus Monkey. He's only got five subs, man. Uh, he's a local to my area. Now uh, we got a downhill. Oh crap. <laughs> Went over the bumpy part. Let's go! recording in 60 frames a second is because I bought that new battery I didn't get a new camera but I got the, the new battery and it, it turns out it lasts the same amount of time on the 3 black as it does on the 3 plus so now at 60 frames a second I can get 3 hours and 40 minutes of recording and at 30 frames a second I can get 5 hours why not record in 60 now that I can get 3 hours and 40 minutes hopefully things are looking clear look at this rock wall does it look clear I tested my battery and battery backpack GoPro ones and at 30 frames a sec I only got 2 hours 36 minutes so yeah and with the new battery and backpack I get 5 hours and 30 frames a second go and buy one now that's all I can say who doesn't want double the battery life? I sure do. Earlier I just picked up a new SD card. It's going to future proof my recording with a record speed of 90 megabytes a second. But yeah, really I'd, I'd need a new, a second SD card because I've got the batteries that last so long now. It must be 38 degrees by now. And I tell you, it's not that bad, especially at 100 grams an hour. All you need is like a polyester shirt, and I've got my vented pants on, and a leather jacket. And nice summer gloves, I've got vents in them, air's coming in. But yeah, thanks for watching, let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up or a comment down below. Cheers! I take back my previous statement, this definitely is too hot today. There's a bug. There's a bug on my... Should bugs. How's it not dead? It's supposed to go dead. It's supposed to go on there. Splat and that's it, mate. Don't walk around on my lens. And I'd just like to make a comment on the post office air conditioning was fantastic and the rego department air conditioning was not very good. In the whole shopping centre it was not very good. Feel free to pop down to your local post office and feel the coolness but not the shopping center that's crap <laughs>